Hello and welcome again to the Niels Verhoy Design channel where today I'll talk you through the base car interior and what we had a look at and how we decided to change it. So this is the second video on looking at the base car which is something that we do with every single car design for coach building project together with the owner and the coach builder that will be working on the specific project. If you haven't seen the video on the exterior yet, please do have a look because it will tell you something about what we did and how we did it. And it would be good to view that before we go to the interior. This is what you would see if you open up the door of that lovely V12 base car that we're working with. We see sports seats which were Quite a special option in that day. One of the few actually. It's a leather with Alcantara, all black, and that goes for the entire interior. Um, it's a special interior with regards to the seats because it has carbon fiber backs. And let me quickly zoom in to this interior and specifically the seats. Obviously the quality is not amazing. These are simple photos made with a phone. But what you do see is this carbon fiber here running all the way. It's basically an entire carbon fiber shell, which, you know, you have to think of quite a few years back. This was something truly special. Carbon fiber wasn't at all something that was used that often. So because of the fact that this is such a special option, we decided that, you know, obviously we can redesign the seats, put in different seats. But it's not all about change for the sake of change. It's also about knowing when and where to stop car design. So we decided that, like I said, because this was such a special option back in those days, to keep the seats, but to completely reupholster them. So what we do is we enhance the OEM design here on the interior. We decided to go with a very special material for the upholstery of the seats, about which I'll make another video in the future. But for now, let's just have a look at what we see here. So if we go into the interior, you see there's an enormous amount of black and only one thing really sticks out and that is that gear lever beautiful metal and you almost can hear the click clock sound by just looking at it and we said okay so the interior definitely needs a bit more of an upgrade so we'll have a look at the seats um, not necessarily only the design but mainly again the color and material of it but very important is obviously this is more or less what you would see as a driver and again it's all a bit gloomy, all a bit plasticky, all very dark and black. It doesn't really speak. It's also rather messy with regards to its layout. Uh, things are not necessarily lining up very nicely. Um, and not just here, but also on other elements. For instance, there, so this is the center stack. And you see um, there is this small sort of like element for a pen perhaps. Um, and you have these horrible sort of empty spaces, weird little triangles. And again, it doesn't line up here. Um, the curves are different on every single corner. So we've got larger curves, we've got tiny curves. Buttons are placed in there super random. So we said, okay, that center stack definitely needs some attention. And the buttons of like radio, air conditioning mainly, are not overly successful either. Then having a look at the dials, again the same story. Um, classical, but also rather boring. So what we see is a, a thin chrome line there. Um, what well, we decided, okay, that's that's maybe quite nice to keep that, um, but the fonts and again the colors, it's all rather flat and it's all rather boring. Then having a look at the door panel, and it's again, it's the same story. What we see is, um, well, it's a bit hard to see. Let me first 
lighten the image a little bit for you so we can have a bit of a look at the door panel and again it's all black um, it's a bit messy with different elements and things that are not necessarily lining up anywhere at all um, we've got this line there then we've got this which is super rough sort of square end with these two switches for the electric windows and this whole element is then just stuck to the side this is a pocket and then there is another pocket right underneath that again we said there is a bit of work to be done here to lift this interior not just design wise but also color and trim wise to a level where we would say okay that is better you can see we already took the panel off here uh, one of the technicians did and we're just taking it apart looking at okay so how does this work um, this is actually a uh, armrest that is on there and it looks like a pocket but it's not it, it doesn't open up as such uh, so this is the pocket that is just there for your maps um, and again you can see how rough this is just almost butchered into that door panel and the shape of the panel in itself so if you would have a look at the main lines uh, they are actually not too bad the main aesthetic of it it has a, a quite a nice speed to it um, so if we would simplify it we would not deny the base car but these two major graphic elements meaning the armrest here and the element that goes into the dashboard which would be there we said well that is something that is maybe quite interesting to have a look at and to develop and here again we see uh, the partial shelf uh, in the previous video we showed you how basically right there is the fuel tank and it runs all the way towards the back there and it goes up until more or less there um, so that would be the surface where it would hide underneath and you can see this is the seat here and the seat there and there is already this large element there so this was right before we took that apart and it's just interesting to see how well the fuel tank is hidden and obviously this including the pillars there uh, would completely change going forward because what we're basically going to make is something that would look um, i guess in the end something like this it's going to taper quite a bit so this would be roughly where we would be looking at at the final car so the rear window would be somewhere there and then we'll have a couple of tail lights there and there anyway this was at this stage still very far away we didn't have any design but we did have obviously a clue of what we were planning to do what we actually did do is something i'll share with you in our next video so please like and subscribe let us know what you think in the comments and what you would like us to have a look at because we really do like to hear from you we'll take you through the questions that you ask us in the comments thanks for watching and see you at the next video